Hello everyone. How are you doing? Happy new month. I'm so glad that we got to see the month of February and this is only by the grace of God. Um, I'm Dr. Ori, your lifestyle medicine coach and I'm here to share a few tips with you as a follow-up to the discussions that we had in the last two weeks. I know that making healthy choices every day can be challenging, but that's why we're here to provide clarity and support so that you have the confidence to make the right choices. So we talked about um, the glycemic index and we talked about the glycemic load last week and we talked about the importance of um, taking meals that don't hit your bloodstream at a very high rate. And we talked about how to calculate the glycemic load. In case um, you didn't watch those videos, um, after now you could check the channel for the videos on uh, glycemic load and glycemic index. But today I'm going to deal with something that is going to help you um, in making your food selections because not everybody um, is able to make those calculations. It can be challenging sometimes really. But there are some ways in which you could um, calculate your, your food servings or the size of food that you're taking and that will help you to curb the amount of calories that you're taking into your body. So um, there are different kinds of food products. Um, basically, we can class them into grains and grain products. We have vegetables, we have fruits, um, we have nuts, we have legumes. We also have poultry, we have meat, we have fish. Um, all these are the kind of foods that we take every day, even fats and oils are part of the food that we take every day. It's just that this um, discussion I'm having is not based on whether it's um, a carbohydrate or a protein or a vitamin or a, or a mineral as we are all used to, you know, when talking about a balanced diet. But we've discovered that many of the meals that we have, even when they're basically um, legumes they could contain carbohydrates they could contain protein they could contain vitamins so we just want to look at the sevens the seven sizes how are you sure that you're not taking too much and you don't have the time to make all those calculations we talked about last week now we're going to use some examples to um, enhance your understanding and um, your ability to remember what um, is appropriate for you now when you're taking grains and um, grain products according to published data we find out that you don't need more than seven to eight servings in a day now when we say seven to eight servings you might be thinking oh that's a whole lot but by the time we break it down you discover that it's not that much now um based on a 2000 kilocalorie diet which is basically what most of us need that's the assumption i'm making as I'm um, sharing um, these tips with us. And for people who need to lose a lot of weight, um, they will need to reduce their calorie content um, and go below 2,000 kilocalories per day. But if you're just trying to maintain your weight, um, 2,000 kilocalories is fine. And this discussion is based on that. So like I said earlier, for grain and grain products, you need an average of seven to eight, um, servings in a day. And what is a seven? Remember we talked about bread last week. A slice of bread is one seven. So if you have made up your mind that you want to take bread on a certain day, then you would try to gauge how much of it you really need. Do you need two slices or three slices? But if you take seven slices of bread at a sitting, then it's recommended that you don't take any more grain products for that day. And most of our grain products come from carbohydrates. So it's better you just stay away because I've already consumed what you need for that day. But the, the downside of taking seven slices at once is that most of that is refined and hits your bloodstream at the same time and releases a lot of insulin into your system, which I said 
would make you to put on weight more easily, even if you didn't take any other thing for the rest of the day. So it's good to break down your meals. It's better to eat three times a day than once a day because your body is going to soak it all in at that time when it's getting that one meal. And um, it will be unlikely to burn it as compared with when you spread it out. The body will be able to metabolize it um, at each point in time. So what else, apart from a, um, a, a slice of bread, is a serving? Um, if you want to take rice, well, be it um, brown rice or white rice or fada or basmati, a serving is going to be a cupcake bowl or a cupcake wrapper. I don't know how many of us bake, but some of us that bake, you know how those cupcakes look. So that portion that goes into the cupcake wrapper, that is what we will call a serving of rice, cooked rice. When we say grain products, we're talking about things like rice. Um, we're talking about products that have been blended and produced from um, millet, rice, and we, there are some things in in Africa that people take that we talk about um, semovita, which is produced from wheat. So, but the only thing is that these things have been finely processed and blended, and then it's mixed into a meal. So there are ways of determining how much of these um, foods you can take at a time. But the basic principle is that one slice of bread is a serving and um, a wrap or a feast of um, your mixed meal, the meal that you're taking, you know, whether it's wheat meal, rice meal, just use um, a feast to estimate a serving. Another way you can also estimate um, for rice or even for pasta, a scoop of ice cream is also a good way to make an estimate of a serving size. Of course, some of those things seem to vary, but averagely, the, the, the scoop size shouldn't be more than 200 meals. Um, whatever the case may be, whether you're serving rice, you're, you're serving um, a swallow meal, or you want to take um, something similar in this respect. So far as it's coming from a grain product, um, please, these are the ways in which you can determine whether what you're taking is enough or you're going overboard. We also have vegetables. Vegetables are foods that we recommend that we take a lot of on a daily basis. It's recommended that we take an average of four to five servings of vegetables in a day. I really wonder how many of us do that, but that's the recommendation. And what is a serving of vegetable? Um, a 200 meal bowl of raw leafy vegetables or half of that, that's um, a 100 meal bowl or half of a 200 meal bowl of cooked vegetables. And you know, in Africa, we have all sorts of vegetables that you can take um, from time to time. Then aside from that, some people like vegetable juice or even smoothies. Um, at a time, you shouldn't take more than a 200 meal um, glass of um, that vegetable or um, the smoothie drink. That is a serving, 200 meals is a serving. The recommended amount of fruit servings that you should take in a day should not be more than four to five. Um, but when we are taking your fruits, what is expected is that if you're actually going to take that four to five portions in a day or servings, you will spread them out. One with your breakfast, one with your lunch, one with the supper, and then maybe one in between when you want to snack, which means that you wouldn't snack on any other thing than your fruits. And now what is a serving of fruits? Um, a serving of fruits is a medium size of that fruit. A medium size of apple, a medium size of orange, a medium sized banana, just think of any fruit at all and think of a medium size of that fruit. What are the other things that we eat on a daily basis? We have um, nuts. Um, when we want to, do, when nuts are, are recommended, 
but I know of several people who will sit down with a bottle of granuts <laughs> and almost finish that granuts at that point in time. While um, you might think it, it doesn't pose any hazard, there are some reasons why you you, you shouldn't do that. Um, it predisposes you to incomplete bowel emptying if you're taking so much granite at a time. And um, if you want to really stick to the recommended amounts, what you need is a handful at a time. A handful at a time. So you could have nuts, you could have seeds, um, four to five times or sevens in a week four to five sevens in a week but a seven is just a handful of that <laughs> I know some people are going to scream a handful of your almonds handful of your granite so if you buy a bottle of granite it doesn't mean that you must finish it spread it out over the week take a handful today another handful tomorrow um, we have other um, things we have the uh, meat we have fish poultry yes um, as much as possible we want us to reduce our uh, rate of intake of some of these foods because um, they contain saturated fats particularly red meat uh, but if at all you, are, you have to take any of these the, the recommended seven according to this dash diet is um, two servings or less in a day and there are some of us when we want to take our meal you see three pieces of of fish or you see three pieces of meat or whatever it is on our plates um, that is not recommended if you really want to adhere to the 2000 calorie kilocalorie diet that will help you to maintain your weight or facilitate weight loss um, and you are going to be getting saturated fats that could also damage your blood vessels and cause um, heart disease. So you want to be very careful. You don't need more than two at any meal. Um, and once you have taken two at a meal, that's enough for the day. So in a day, you need just about two servings or less of fish, poultry, or meat. Not just um, um, fish alone. Yeah, I know some people are going to ring me after this. <laughs> then um, talking about oils, oils, that's another area where we need to be careful about. Some of us use a lot of oil. Um, but when we're talking about a serving of oil, a serving of oil is a teaspoon, a teaspoon of oil. That's vegetable oil. And how many servings do you need in a day? Well, we're not talking about a day this time. In a week, you don't need more than two to three servings of fat and oil. Huh. So that means you have to eliminate all those spreads, butters, creams. They are not part of this bagging. So um, these are a few um, things to guide you in making um, your choice. Um, as much as possible, let's um, make the right choices. I know that sometimes it might not be so easy, but based on the understanding that you have, based on the knowledge that has been shared with you in this last three weeks, I'm sure that you'll be able to make the right choice. So till I come your way again, um, remember to choose life. I'm open to questions. Please send me your questions. With that, I can follow up on, on other videos. Thank you so much for following. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you can be notified about upcoming videos. Thank you. Bye.